you know, the, the waterfowl season is pretty much a five month journey. You, know, you go through warm, you go through cold, snow, rain. You experience, you know, two, sometimes three seasons through over the course of a waterfowl season. You experience all sorts of conditions. You fight through the warm to get to the cold. Sometimes the warm weather works. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen. Even though past experience tells you, you know, these conditions are not right. I don't know why we're going out here. Sometimes the stars still align, and we've had a couple hunts like that this year, and we've had some hunts where, you know, here comes a massive Arctic cold front. Hit. The ducks are coming. We know it. We're set up. We're waiting. They never show. It's just one of those things, you know, you, you just have to be there and hope that it happens, and even if you don't think it's going to happen, it still could. You just got to be out there waiting for them. My most memorable hunt this year would be the last day of the Oklahoma trip for sure. We'd scouted this field, saw a bunch of birds. We didn't really know what we were getting into. When we got there in the morning, uh, things started to look better, out better for us. And it all came together and it was just picture perfect. The sun was shining. Uh, you can pick the green heads out from a mile away. It was just a great hunt with great friends. And, you know, it wasn't a it wasn't a smash up hunt where you're in and out of the field in 10 minutes. We actually got to enjoy this hunt. Wrapped it up around 10, 30, 11 o'clock and it was just an all around great hunt. Everything went our way that day. It was a lot of fun. The most memorable hunt for me would probably have to be the Kansas hunt. Uh, you know, it all started, we got with Nick and Elliot, cold front was coming through, we were banking on shooting some ducks right in the river bottom, right there for Elliot and Nick's house. Planning on shooting them in the fields, you know, we drove out there, got there real early, set all the decoys and everything, and we seen nothing. I mean, there was a few ducks flying the river here and there. Nothing wanted to even bother with us. We uh, were sitting there walking back and forth through the decoy spread, you know, talking, what can we do, what can we do. Ricky from CNL Outdoors called us. He said, man, there's tons of ducks here. He said, how fast can you get here? We kind of discussed it, called him back. We're picking up decoys now. We'll be leaving in a couple hours. Cool because it was a real spurt of the moment deal that actually worked out really well for us, you know. Uh, you know, just a matter of a couple hours and we were out of there, headed to Kansas, and when we got there, it was definitely well worth it. I'll kind of go against the grain. Um, it wasn't necessarily a hunt, but the most memorable experience of the year was the afternoon slash evening that Ryan and I spent scouting in Kansas. It had been really cold. There was a ton of ducks really confined to what open water was in the area. We found a bunch on a refuge. We followed them off. Everything was pretty much following each other off the refuge. They flew, I don't know, probably 10, 12 miles. We had to zigzag roads dead into a couple roads, finally found where they were going, and it was this little bend of a river that was mostly frozen, but this bend was thawed, and the number of ducks in there was absolutely incredible. I wish I had something to say for you. <laughs> There's a lot of ducks in there. Most of them were just feeding right there over the bank. I mean, literally 300, 400 yards away. And the show that they put on that afternoon, I will never ever forget. I might not ever see anything like that again. And that is by far and away the most memorable thing I can take away from the 2013, 2014 season. I have to say one of my most memorable hunts this year was heading to Nebraska. Uh, coming off a nice trip in Missouri and heading north to Nebraska uh, was a different sight for me. First time actually heading west 
in the central flyway and just setting up on a little tiny river and just having unpressured geese, ducks, easily talked into convincing just to come in on this little chute along the, on the bank along this little tiny spring fed river. It was fun. It was, it was blistering. It was cold. It's what I like. I like hunting rivers cold, but it was a different pace, a nice backdrop, peaceful all day, just sitting out there grinding it out, convincing ducks and geese to come in. I have to say Michigan, lay out on the big water, something I always wanted to do. Finally got to do it. It's not, you know, it's not always about how things go. I think we shot one duck up there the whole time, but that's something that I've been wanting to do. As part of all the duck hunting I've done, that's something I wanted to do, and I got to do it. And it was, it was unbelievable. It's, uh, it's hard to match doing something like that when you're just out there in a little old layout boat and you're just surrounded by water. And the ice was closing in on us that day. I think you got a clip when you're, you're back behind me in the other boat and all of a sudden the ice started coming, we had to evacuate there shortly after. If I was to use one word to characterize the 2013-2014 waterfowl season and what we've experienced, I would use the word cold. Um, you know, it started warming in October in North Dakota, but by the middle to end of November, the first Arctic cold front cruised through the plains and into the Midwest, and then it seemed like it was literally every seven to ten days there was another Arctic front cruising through. Th there was never a grand passage, so to speak, of ducks and geese along one of those fronts. It was more of a trickle migration, which, you know, with the cold that we've had, you wouldn't think that's what would happen, but, but it really was. There was never one push of ducks that was really any bigger than the other. It seemed like every cold front brought birds with it, no matter where we were at. Uh, luckily, we were able to hunt the majority of those Arctic fronts, and it, it played out really well. We had an incredible season. Uh, we've hoped for cold weather for three seasons. Mother Nature finally gave it to us this year, and it will not go away. Winter has continued, you know, through middle to end of February. We've still gotten snow. It just will not give up. It will not go away. Eventually the weather's gonna break, and we can hope that she will return next year and we will have another cold and snowy winter, and the 2014-2015 waterfowl season will be like it was the year prior. What do you got stuffed underneath that thing with you? <coughs> Two remotes, one on an audio recorder, one on GoPros, and a camera, and a whole bunch of straw dust. So basically you're trying to fit an entire production. I'm running a movie set under this burlap. Hopefully the actors show up. Hey, is this in your one?